you saw y'all Rick Ross just exposed them people. Let's listen to what the man got to say. I won't have a smart. Well, I'm not going to say. I won't. Never ridden in a Tesla. Never. Never. Never in my no life. Smart car. I've never ridden in a Tesla. And the reason being is because I've always had in the back of my mind, the government could tap into the brain of the car. So what about your phone? Yeah. Okay. Please. Where's Rick? He's over it. Now, bring him in for questioning. <laughs> Nigga, like, well, go ahead. Yo, um, it's so leaving wing stop before the wings. <laughs> you pull up to the building and the Asian walk out. Hey, Rick. Nah. All right. So my thing is this, right? Each car has a computer in it. You know what I'm saying? When you go get your car checked out, you gotta hook your shit up to the machine, right? So that they can read the codes and tell you why you got a check engine light on. So, at any point, your car can get shut off, whether it be a smart car or not. You know what I'm saying? If you don't pay your car note, there's companies that can literally shut your car off, right? So, Rick Ross tried to put himself in a position where the people that are aware of what's taking place, you know what I'm saying, would disregard what they doing, right? As if to say they not part of the problem. Like, Rick Ross, you part of the problem, right? Don't try to throw the government under the bus because, you know what I'm saying, you feel like it's going to fill your pockets even more because you see where the planet is moving, Right? So this is what I'm saying, like, bro, you never cared nothing about, you know what I'm saying, what was taking place behind the scenes, because you are what's going on behind the scenes. So don't try to make it seem like you stepping in and, you know, helping the people out with a word. Nigga, you finna go right back to doing that grimy stuff you was doing before.